great victory tonight for the Maryland Terrapins. I'm Wayne Viner. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Maryland, 81-65 over the Illini. 17th rank coming in. It's the second loss for Illinois in a row. They had no Kofi Coburn. They had no answer for Dante Scott, who played terrific old guy basketball down on the post. Every move you could make absolutely confounded Illinois. He was spectacular. Response to being benched with a career high. You saw the growth of Julian Reese more in the rebounding, the shooting. He had that great slip pass for a layup late in the second half. He's getting better. Terps take it in a much, much needed win. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Terps win it tonight in College Park. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm and why we've been named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country, as well as why the Daily Record, Maryland's legal newspaper, has named the Jacklitz Law Group the very best, best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. Every single lawyer at the Jacklitz Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. In the Jacklitz Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Welcome back. Terps still win this Friday night, 81-65. You had a pretty good overall game from Fats Russell. Taking a quick look at the score sheet. 15.6 of 13. He ends up with seven rebounds. A pretty good rebounder for a little guard. On top of that, he almost has that earth, gravity-defying dunk where he hangs in the air and ends up being a layup in the mid-second half. He looks like the guy that we've heard of, the spark plug that makes it all go. You look at Scott, 25 points, 9 of 12, 1 of 2 from 3, 6 of 7 from the line. He played the same role that he played down the stretch of Maryland, was good and made the NCAA run last year. A uh, combination of five out and then gritty inside work. As I said before, every old dude move from the YMCA, Dante Scott has that. R Reese and Wahab total 18 points. Wahab did that in a couple minutes where he became an effective option as Maryland continued to drive to the basket. Illinois overreacts leaving Wahab wide open. Julian Reese, it's the two of three from beyond the arc, and that delicious pass to the right of the top of the key that split the two defenders for the layup. Um, Hart, 10 points. A couple of those were breakaways. He had the exclamation point dunk to end it. Just a good night for the Terps. Everybody did enough to win. No silly turnovers for the most part. No crazy shots. Uh, an overall calm that it actually was going to go Maryland's way. Now, you can do that when Kofi Coburn doesn't show up for Illinois. They're not quite so powerful. Maryland really didn't have an answer for him. So not having him there allows that flexibility with Scott playing five out and then taking it to the post. Illinois didn't know who to match up with him. He was very effective in that role. Maryland needs to look to extend that. You want to make that the focal point of your offense and play off of that. If you can combine that with speed and decent defense, Maryland's three-point defense, or Illinois just couldn't get the ball to go in the basket at the end. You're not really sure which one, but Maryland's defense and the rebounding picked up later in the game. Great win for Danny Manning. That's a second conference win. Maryland now 10-9, and nine. and as Mason has said a few times, hey, two weeks from now, it's lacrosse season on February 5th. And that's where Maryland basketball seems to be headed, is that starting to count down the games. I believe there's six games left after tonight. But I love, again, love the fight. Right when you think they're done, when they really stink it up against Michigan and need some late second half effort to even make it a game, Maryland comes out 
and plays hard, 40 minutes, gets it done. Great win at home. Not the biggest crowd, but when the fans are happy at Xfinity Center, it's still a really loud building. Terps take it. 38th win in a row when they score 80 or more. It's 81-65 Maryland over number 17 Illinois. 